They say cut back. We say fight back. Cut back. Fight back. Cut back. Fight back. Cut back. Fight back. They say cut back. We say fight back. They say cut back. We say fight back. In the summer, management decided to restructure significant parts of the university schools and programmes. We've been hit hugely over the last few months with redundancies, and that's meant a huge increase in workloads. We're in a situation now where programmes are closing, and we also have significant increase in the number of casualisation of staff because obviously there was loads of gaps that needed to be filled. So at the moment, we're really struggling. And this is adding into stress, it's adding into all kinds of problems that staff are facing at the moment. And we really want management to address these concerns. Lecturers you know, are leaving, um, many of them, um, because they can't, can't cope with the pressure and can't cope with the, with the level of work that we've been asked to do. Around a quarter of academic staff and the support staff, professional services, technicians have left. And that is a terrible indictment of the way that management run this university and fail students. It hit me two weeks ago when I came in to teach on one morning and I walked into my building onto the ground floor and all, there was no one there. The lights were off because there are so many empty offices of people who got the boot in the summer. It's both practically debilitating and also demoralising. We can't attend uh, as readily as we used to to the needs of individual students. When I first joined this department, I felt that whenever a student came to me for a one-on-one -on -one meeting or emailed me of a special problem, I always had the time to address that issue on its individual, on the individual basis. And now I feel harried. I feel when a student emails me, I have to you know, jot off a quick reply. If they come to see me, I'll say, you know, can we make this quick because I've got to do this and see someone else and teach a new class and write a new lecture. We lose colleagues who are on permanent posts and they're being replaced by visiting lecturers, brilliant colleagues in their own right, but exploited on short-term contracts. What we're seeing is an industry that's increasingly relying uh, on those short-term contracts and that's just not sustainable. They're normally just coming in to do teaching but then of course they're being expected to do lots of other stuff as well, planning classes, marking, assessment. I find it hard myself as a, as a convener, programme convener trying to manage a programme with half the staff have left. I'm, got, I'm covering I'm a lot of teaching myself and I'm also having to help and support visiting lecturers. It's really difficult. I look after PhD students at the university and many of them are hoping for careers in academia and I can't bear the thought of them being exploited by casualised contracts. I understand that you have unique strengths in dance and in philosophy and in classics and in social and physical anthropology, those courses have been cut, which is an absolute stain on this university's management. Our staff are having to deal with a huge amount of work. That means that they are not able to do the job that they want to do in the same way that they want to do it. That means us as students are not getting the same student experience that we were paying, that we are paying to get. research and yet they cannot work in their field to the same standard if they are putting in so many hours at university that they can't give the strength they need to these other fields to their work and that's what we're here to learn from we can stick your bloody work up your ass you can stick your bloody work up your ass you can stick your bloody work up your ass stick your bloody work up your ass teachers and students are together, it is very much the span of management that is the problem. The fact that we have so many supervisors and unneeded staff who uh, were not cut. All across the different campuses there are these vanity projects being built. There's a huge shiny library which is very nice but cost a fortune and cost a fortune at our expense. This university very much prioritizes market dynamics thinking that because the customer is always right they're supposed to just prefer student preferences but in reality they don't even listen to us. Uh, truth be told, they are exploiting this university, turning it to vocational and destroying the academics. There's some important things to happen in the new year. We have a ballot for an escalation in the new year and I think that's exactly, that's exactly what we should do, um, including um, a boycott around marking and assessments. Last month I went to Wolverhampton who were facing a similar situation and they referenced you on their rally. 
you are leading the way and giving strength to others. We feel like we're part of a movement. We're with the nurses and the postal workers and the railway workers and the teachers, and I think we're on the rise. They say cut back. We say fight back. They say cut back. We say